Hi everyone, um, often asked about the licks that I'm using, and to be honest, I'm not really a player that plays a lot of licks because, um, you know, I'm trying to improvise as much as possible. But there are some systems that I'm using, and uh, what I'm going to try to show you is how to mix together some patterns that I like, and maybe you will come up with something fresh and something new uh, for you uh, on your own. Remember, I'm trying to hold a step down, but I'm going to be using the... Um, the fingering of an A major scale here, but it will sound like a G. So, you all know probably this pattern, which is a three notes per string pattern for the Ionian mode. But I'm using the uh, speed picking technique. When I go from one string to another, I'm just doing like, you know, two downstroke in a row. when I'm, you know, descending the scale, I'm using the same thing the other way around, like two up strokes in a row. That was just to explain to you, this is not the exercise. What I'm going to be doing is, on every couple of two strings, I'm going to be using the same pattern. Like, I'm going to be ascending on the first string, and I'm going to use, like, a different pattern on the next string with five notes. It's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to go for the same thing here. And again here. And I stop on the, uh, on the first beat. So it's like. I can work it with hitting all the strings. Maybe use the legato technique just to make it sound a little more, you know, fluid. And so this is the first exercise, but I'm going to show you how I mix that all together to get some extreme sounding pattern. Another another cool thing that I like to use is to, um, you know, connect two uh, pentatonic forms, two pentatonic shapes together. Here, for example, I'm on the C-sharp fingering, and I'm going to be using the first shape of the minor pentatonic. And I'm going to connect it to the second pattern. And the idea is to put them all together to get like a three note per string pattern on the minor pentatonic, which is going to be sounding like this. pattern as I was using on the Union um, shape. So here it goes when I'm playing in a row, but very fast. And the ID, so this is your second exercise, and the third exercise is going to be a mix of uh, the pattern I was using on the Union mode on that minor, uh, minor shape. So it's going to be like this. Which is cool because that sounds like something that is not really standard on a guitar. It sounds more like there are some big intervals and there are some repeating, no repeating notes every time you change strings. So it's kind of cool because that really sounds a little different from the regular minor pentatonic kind of stuff. So here I go very slowly. Once again, I can play like hitting all the notes. Legato. You will see it's a little more tricky when you're doing with legato because with the wide end rolls you don't get as much strain as you do when you when you're doing like a regular fingering. So here we go now I'm gonna to try to play it as fast as possible. Uh, I think that's <laughs> 